Welcome back to Medrash Maisa, sharing a story for this week's Parsha, Parsha's Kisisa. This story was told by Rav David Aritz, a noted Machanik and Talmud Chacham here in Yerushalayim. I once heard it from him himself, but I read it in greater detail when it was brought in the biography of Rav Meir of Amshinov that was written recently by Rav Shlomo Weinberg here in Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Aritz came as a young yeshiva bacher to the yeshiva Karim Biyavne in Eretz Yisrael, and when he arrived, he was placed in a room that, to his surprise, had no roommates. He had an entire room to himself. When he asked around about this, he discovered that, unfortunately, the boys who had lived in that room before were killed in their army service. So everyone else in the yeshiva was afraid to live in that room. It didn't bother him. He said he wasn't superstitious, and he was delighted to have a single room. However, when he mentioned it to his father of Pesach Haritz, a noted educator in America, he told him, that it shouldn't be taken lightly. He said, our family come from Amshinov Hasidim, and the Rebbe, the mayor of Amshinov, is in Yerushalayim. Go ask his advice. So Rabbi Oretz went to Rabbi Meir, and he came in, and he, Rabbi Meir listened to the issue and took out a Gemara. The Gemara Krisus in Daf Hay, he read to Rabbi Oretz as follows. It says, Hai man the boy leida imoshcha shato ilo. If a person wants to know at the beginning of the year, if he's going to live out the year or not. He should take a candle and in the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, put it in a room that no wind can reach. If the candle burns clear and straight without going out, it's a sign that he will live through the year. However, the Gemara concludes... This is not something that you should do. That perhaps something may happen to cause the candle to go out, and then the person will become afraid. And if he becomes afraid, then he'll become weakened and susceptible to all types of dangers. The Rebbe summarized this, he said, by quoting Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He said, that president said, don't fear fear. Or perhaps we're more familiar with it as the only thing to fear is fear itself. He said, if you're not afraid of this, so then there's nothing to worry about. However, if you do have some fear, then that could indeed be dangerous. Rabbi Oretz heard his advice and felt that he indeed wasn't afraid and went back to grow in Torah and near Shemaim, enjoying his single room in the yeshiva of Kerem B'yavna. This connects to a theme in our Parsha, because Chazal tell us that the Satan caused Am Yisrael to fall and do the Chet Egel by showing them frightening images of Moshe Rabbeinu dead. That fear weakened them, frightened them, caused them to wonder what would be, and led to the Chet Egel. We have to learn to be strong, and as the Rebbe said, don't fear fear, and Mir Hashem with that will be able to overcome all obstacles, and to continue Ad Bios Mashiach Tzidkenu. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos.